G'day, g'day, and welcome to Comics Mate, your mates in comics from the land down under. I'm Dean James, and today we're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat 2, the maybe, probably, highly anticipated sequel to the 2021 film adaptation of the beloved fighting game franchise, which the producer, Todd Garner, has released some teaser photos of some of the new, to the movie franchise at least, characters we will be seeing in the upcoming sequel. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and let's jump right into this so you can see for yourself, and then I will give you my thoughts on what we see, and then you can let me know what you think, and all that, you know, all that good stuff. From comic book movie, Mortal Kombat 2 behind the scenes photos feature first look at Tati Gabrielle as Jade, Tease Katana and Shao Kahn. Mortal Kombat 2 producer Todd Garner recently shared a set photo which all but confirmed that Hiroyuki Sanada will reprise the role of Scorpion. The actor had previously indicated that he would not return and he's now taken to social media to tease some of the sequel's new characters. The shots feature a new look at the official title logo, which takes influence from the second game's title design, along with Katana's signature spiked fan and Shao Kahn's hammer. We also get a first behind-the-scenes glimpse of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina actress Tati Gabrielle as Jade. In the games, Jade is a lifelong friend and bodyguard of Princess Katana, who also serves as one of Shao Kahn's most lethal assassins and spies. And yes, she is a bitch. B-I-C-T-H. In that order. The first movie didn't exactly achieve a flawless victory at the box office, but it performed well enough, especially as one of the first major COVID era releases with a day and date streaming debut to warrant a sequel, and cameras have been rolling in Australia since last June. Like pretty much every other major production, Mortal Kombat 2 was forced to pause filming due to the recent SAG-AFTRA and WGA strikes, but star Carl Urban as Johnny Cage recently confirmed that shooting is back on. The sequel will also see the debut of some other new heroes and villains from the long-running video game series. Martin Ford will play villainous Outworld Emperor Shao Kahn. Desmond Chiam will take the role of King Jared. Anna Thu... Nguyen? Sorry, I don't know how to say that name. I'm, my bad, guys. Is on board as Queen Sindel. And Damon Herriman will portray Netherrealm demon Quan Chi. Pretty much all of the main characters, even the ones that were seemingly killed off from the first movie, will return. With Louis Tan back as Cole Young, that's a character nobody really cares about, let's be honest. He's not even from the video games, and he had literal plot armor. Jessica McNamee as Sonya Blade, Josh Lawson as Kano, who stole the show in the last movie. Honestly, he was a bloody legend. I'm, I'm excited to see him again. Tadanobu Asano as Lord Raiden, Makad Brooks as Jax, Ludi Lin as Liu Kang, Chin Han as Shang Tsung, Joe Taslam as Bai Han and Sub-Zero, and Max Huang as Kung Lao. Simon McQuaid is back in the director's chair, this time working from a script from Jeremy Slater. James Wan is producing alongside McQuaid, Todd Garner, Michael Clear, and E. Bennett Welsh. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's go into the real meat and potatoes of this video, which are the newly released photos. Round one. Up first, I'll share the picture of Jade. This is just an extreme close-up, so I mean, there's not really much to say about it. I do know that this chick was extremely sinister in Sabrina, so she'll probably do really well as Jade. Round two. With another extreme close-up, we have a picture of Princess Katana's fan blade weapon things that she uses, and I mean, that's definitely them, all right. Katana's actually always been one of my go-to characters when I play the game, so I'm really excited to see her in the movie. Final round. Here we have a look at the official logo for Mortal Kombat 2 with the dragon snaking around the eye eye. I really, I really dig it, not gonna lie. Finish him! And of course I saved the best for last, Shao Kahn's hammer, which honestly looking at that thing just has got me hyped. We are definitely going to see someone get their head bashed in with that. As mediocre as some of you may consider the last Mortal Kombat movie, I actually really enjoyed it. Not saying it's perfect, but it's good enough. And the fact that they're making a sequel that features more of the characters who were notably missing from the first one really does have me excited. I can't wait for a trailer so I can do a whole reaction slash breakdown thing here. But what do you guys think? Let's have a conversation about this. I read all the comments and I usually respond to as many as I can, good or bad. Do you think you could take me on in Mortal Kombat? Are you excited for the new movie? Did you even know this movie was happening? What do you think of the designs for the weapons we've just been shown? Either way, that's all I have for you today. My name's Dean James, your mate in comics from the land down under. 